don't understand. Donovan swallowed the crystal, not Briar. It is not her mind that I am sinking into. What? Where am I? It feels like I'm suffocating. Lute, can you hear me? What's going on? You're with me? Here? Then this can only mean one thing. Be at ease, sister. We may learn something here. Briar, this is what I saw when you had your nightmares. So this is what remains of Donovan's mind. But how could we both get pulled in? I think it's the relic. Its power binds us all. Whatever certainties we had, we can leave them behind now. My dear Hannah, I failed you. Everything I did, I did to keep you safe. But I could not protect you from this. Dad. Anna. Father, it is not your fault. You have to let me go. I... I can't. I will always watch over you. Mother and I... We will keep you safe. Grandmaster Dougal. I left the garrison without your leave. I am deeply sorry, Your Grace. Your departure was more than justified. You do not need to apologize. My regard for you goes beyond your role as Captain of the Guard. My daughter Hannah, it won't be long before... I don't know what to do, Your Grace. The wisdom of the Keepers is beyond our grasp, Sir Donovan. And what looks most obvious to us may not be part of their design. Help me understand it then, so that I can finally bid her farewell. You could do more than just accept this fate. The bond you share with your daughter is strong. Stronger than death itself. Your souls are intertwined. With the blessing of the Shaper, we can give you both a new start. As a Chimera. That filthy schemer. He manipulated him into turning himself and Hannah into a Chimera. He took advantage of his desperation. Just as he did with us. This way. Are you certain? We... we made it. You made it, Hannah. <laughs> I am proud of you, my dear. Impressive work, Sir Donovan. I didn't think it possible such a short time after your rebirth. Now send her back. Your Grace, she's not well. <laughs> Men, restrain them. But the shade, it is unstable. Restrain them. No, Hannah, don't. <laughs> Hannah has always been in pain. Just as she said when she awoke as a transcended. Her suffering did not end when she died to become a shade. If Donovan had known, I wonder if Jugal was aware of the consequences. I doubt it even mattered to him. Anyway, that's the reason why Donovan never summons Hannah. That's why he became the Shadeless. You're late. The door.
Torchbearer wanders paths unknown, but eventually her light finds its way to us all. Such words of wisdom, but I'm sure you did not summon me to show off your oratory skills. Listen, it's dangerous for me to talk with you. I can't see why. We're both valued and reliable members of the Ashen Blade. You've been asking too many questions, Observer. Dougal is growing wary of you and your constant meddling. He told me to keep an eye on you. Do you understand what that means? So tell me what you're looking for and what you want from me. I only wish that the Grand Master does not stray from his holy path. But I have heard troubling things, and made even more troubling deductions. I don't have time for this. What is it you think Dougal is up to? The solstice of souls. Worlds colliding. The spawn of chaos crossing the veil on a rampage. Would that not trouble you? Hmm. Old myths, idle gossip, disloyalty. These are the answers I got as I asked around. But judging from the look in your eyes, I believe your answer will be different. I don't have one, Observer. But I know Dougal well enough. He is the reason I speak to you as an Ashen Knight. The cause of my daughter's never-ending suffering. And yet, you've been his loyal servant for many years now. I took my oath to the Order, not to him. And Hannah... The least I can do is to make sure that her sacrifice means something. But Dougal's ambition... It has always troubled me, I admit it. If what you suspect is true... It is. And he knows I am prying into his secrets. That's why he asked you to investigate me. So what do you know? And most importantly, what will you do? Suffice to say that you know more than I. I will talk with Dougal, and I will stop him if need be. Judge is on our side. He must be. Are you sure this is the best way to address the Grand Master? I've never been one for subtlety. I wouldn't know any other way. He still thought that he could overcome all challenges. With a true heart and a firm hand. Righteous and uncompromising, or just foolish. Anyway, what happened next led to the massacre of Ilden. There must be something else buried inside Donovan's mind. Then we need to find it. Sir Donovan. To what do I owe the pleasure of our visit? And the request for such secrecy? I wish to know more about the Solstice of Souls. I didn't think you would want anyone else to hear our conversation. Always so thoughtful. But you were not as discreet when you had your little chat with that Leighton. You mean to betray me. We both know this. You plan to unleash this solstice of souls. You are the one who betrays our very mission. And how can you be so naive? This world is beyond saving. You can't deny that I'm right. Look at you. Look at your daughter. Shadeless. Blasphemous madman. You did this to her. I did it because you would not accept your fate, remember? I've believed your lies for far too long. Believe what you will. You have outlived your usefulness. The solstice of souls will bring a new start, whether you like it or not. Now, oh, Cordelia, join us, if you please. Cordelia the Reaper. I knew that Dougal wouldn't confront me alone. Surprise, surprise. It's been a long time, Shadeless. Back to Duran already. 
I heard you were on a mission up north. Unluckily for you, it was just an old chimera. One that would not accept that their time had come. But you and me here, it's going to be a different story, no? You feed off the misery of your own kind. Like the vilest of scavengers. Shut up, you bastard! You don't deserve a place in Dougal's new world. Come on, Shadeless! Summon her! So you can have your sadistic pleasure. Never! Enough, Cordelia. Your services as a Reaper are no longer needed today. But why? This traitor deserves no mercy. And he won't have it. Look closely. You chipped his crystal. It won't be long before he transcends. All the more reason to end him, your grace. No, not yet. I have other plans for him. The Shadeless will do my bidding once again, for the last time. As you wish, your grace. Stop! You don't belong here. You have no right to his memories. Not that it matters anyway. You'll all be gone soon. Father and I, you two, your wretched order, this world, and all its filth. There's just one last thing that I need to do. Father, I forgive you. You can rest now. I will relieve you of your burden. Do not resist. Do not oppose my will. 